Hello and welcome to the ZData Tools ZDT Overview. In this presentation, we're going to take a high-level view of what these tools provide. The ZData Tools engine provides access to mainframe data for both the technical and non-technical user. It provides an easy-to-use ISPF-based UI for interactive processing, a rich set of utilities for batch processing, including a REX-like procedural language, a REST interface that is used with ZOS Connect, and the ZDT APIs, which expose these capabilities to a user program. Data can be viewed in its raw binary form for the technical user, or using a logical representation formatted according to column or field descriptions via a template. The template repository is used to document the data to template relationship. The repository helps the administrator to identify which templates belong to which data source. The product is split into three major components, base to handle vSAM partitioned sequential and HFS files, as well as WebSphere MQQs and Kix resources, DB2 for DB2 databases, and IMS for IMS databases. ZDT Kix is also a separate feature, enabling us to run the same capabilities from a Kix region. We refer to Kix as a component throughout this presentation, the interactive user can view or edit ZOS data using an editor that is very similar in look and feel to the ISPF editor. It has many identical commands, but is extended to support vSAM, MQ, Kix, IMS, and DB2 data. The editor is available in both TSO ISPF and Kix environments. With input from the user, typically a database administrator, plus catalog and copybook descriptions, the ZDT user can build templates describing the ZOS resource. The template is an essential part of ZDT processing and key to the REST and API economy employed by ZDT. For example, you can describe date fields with sophisticated masks which will allow date arithmetic or scrambling to be performed in a copy operation. Here is a simple example of the capability of ZDT to understand your binary data and the transformation from raw binary data to the logical view. We have single and table views, which are supported by view, edit, and print utilities. And JSON objects representing the data can be produced for processing by the REST or API economies. CDT also provides a rich set of utilities, as shown here. For the base component, the highlighted utilities support Kix resources. For example, you could copy a file open to Kix to a non-Kix file. With the push for modernization, to some degree many fluent ISPF users have been neglected. ZDT provides a set of tools that target the day-to-day -day tasks of the ISPF users. By providing search and point-and-shoot navigation, with an emphasis on ease of use, it reduces keystrokes and increases efficiency in performing various tasks. Enhanced search described by one user as search for on steroids, provides a really easy search and navigation tool for any number of ZOS resources. The enhanced reference list provides a simple method of organizing and remembering various ZOS datasets and associating them with a task or function. The clone utility is a simple way to move your data around on the mainframe. The ZDT enhanced search facility provides a sequential search of any combination of ZOS resources. For example, this command will search for the word data in our active proc live datasets. A search report is produced showing the locations and records where the string was found. Recursive scanning can then be performed with just the touch of a key. Also, by cursor positioning on the data and hitting enter, we can navigate directly into a view or edit session positioned at the hit location. Here we are editing a piece of JCL where a dataset name is comprised of a number of substitution variables. With point and shoot navigation, we can cursor position on a dataset name or string, and by pressing a customised function key, perform nested edit, view, search, dataset list, and other commands appropriate to the value at the cursor position. The clone facility will copy groups of catalogued datasets to local and remote LPARs. For example, 
we can take all the data sets that have high-level qualifier fmn.demo01 and copy them to another LPA, renaming them to a new high-level qualifier. The remote definition, FAE1, specifies the destination system. If it wasn't already defined, the tool would display a definition dialog. Hitting enter brings up a clone list from which we can perform the copy. The output datasets will be created if they don't already exist. This brings us to the end of the product overview. Thank you for your interest in HCLZ data tools.